Hi, this is Joe Grumbine with The Human Solution, and I'm here to talk about how to become a court support coordinator. One of the essential elements of a Human Solution chapter is a court support coordinator. And as these new chapters are forming, the members are going, I don't know what to do. So I'm here to tell you. First role of a court support coordinator is to uh, receive all of the information from defendants that are willing to have support. And if you come upon somebody who has a case coming up, talk to them and get their story, first of all. And second of all, find out when their next court date is. And we will get you up on the website. We have a enter a court support date button on the website and I'll walk you through that. I think the most important thing for a court support coordinator to do is to actively look for defendants. Oftentimes they'll find us just because of our presence out there on the web and Facebook and the website and all that. But in plenty of places, especially some of the more rural areas, there isn't necessarily a beacon that says, hey, come find us. So we recommend that you put out ads on Craigslist or your local uh, penny saver, nickel saver type of magazine. And I think um, going out to the courts, we have our, uh, here, stop it. It doesn't matter, I can cut it. One of the best ways to find defendants is when we're actually at court support for another defendant, or just go out there to any local court. You can either set up a table or go out there with a couple of people and get a banner. And we have these postcards. And they say, have you or a family member been arrested for court support? And then the backside has some answers and a way to contact us. And so this is an easy postcard to hand out. It also has a place for your local chapter's information to put on there. And we also have our brochures. Our brochures have a lot of good information and they're easy to hand out. We find a lot of new defendants find us this way. Uh, I think that that's one of the best ways is just to get out there and meet people. We also attend other organizations meetings. We go to other activist organizations meetings and talk about it. Uh, you'd be surprised how few people really realize that people are still getting arrested and actually thrown in jail for pot in a time when supposedly it's becoming legal. So those are the most important roles of a court support coordinator. It gets more involved if you want it to, helping to coordinate ride shares and that sort of thing. But letting people know that if they stand up and are willing to fight their cases and not take that plea deal, that we can rally some support. I think it's also important to realize, and I came to my attention, that in one of our chapters we had a member, or maybe more than one, who paid their dues, joined up to one of the local chapters, asked for court support, and nobody came, and then they wanted their money back. It's important for you as a court support coordinator to tell the defendants and to urge the defendants to get up there and to share their story. People aren't going to necessarily come just because somebody pushes a button. It's really important. The best court supports that we've ever had are ones where the defendants have been active and engaging the people. It's just important to get the defendant to become active and they will help to get their own support. So we act as kind of a turbo and, and an organizer, but it really uh, relies upon the defendant to get out there. So defend or court support coordinators, if you have any questions, you can always call me at 951-436-6312 and I will always be there to help. And if I'm not, I'll have somebody take my place. Thank you. In order to submit a court date, once again, we're going to go to the Human Solution website. One thing to realize is that people will post up on Facebook or other social media and ask for court support. And yet nobody seems to, well not nobody, one thing to realize is that people will call up or post on social media, Facebook and whatnot and ask for court support at the very last second. And typically, I just put up this link because if we don't know about it in time, it's virtually impossible to rally support. 
it's up to you court supporters to get people to realize that we have a calendar we have a tool in place and if you want to stick your hand out at the last second and ask for help you're probably going to get very little support but if you actually take some time and mount a, a support effort you'll probably get a lot more so this is one of the keys facebook will never get your uh, court support date up on our website it's going to be up to you to submit the calendar date